you know, it's so funny. I tell people this is the most incredible, best thing I've ever done in my life. And it is also the hardest thing I have ever done in my life. I have learned so much in the last year. Chantal Ingram, owner of Flourish and Basque, just celebrated her small business's first anniversary this week. I always say I celebrate the art of entertaining. So by art, I mean the sort of pretty and practical tools that you need for entertaining. So not only do we have everything to make uh, cocktails, uh, everything for the home bartender, but we also have um, charcuterie boards and cheese knives and candles. I really believe in retail. I believe in bricks and mortar. And I really feel that people are tired of just online shopping. And so they want to come to a pretty store. They want an experience. They want to smell and touch and feel. And so we made it through year one. Phenomenal. Um, found a niche in Oakville that nobody was filling with the um, cocktails. And people kept coming in and saying, oh, could you get me this syrup or these bitters? Or I've been looking for this flavor or these particular cherries. And they just can't get them in Halton region. She has a flourishing, unanticipated market as well, with millennials and Generation Z consuming less alcohol than previous generations. There's a rising demand for alcohol-free crafted cocktails. My first week open, I was asked three times by three separate customers for alcohol-free. So on a whim, I brought some in, and I just crunched some numbers. It is almost 20% of my total sales since January. Um, people are switching to alcohol free for so many reasons. They say that it is the fastest growing segment of the cocktail industry internationally. So across the world, the quality of the product is far superior than it ever used to be. So this isn't grocery store sparkling grape juice. This is true um, sparkling wine made in the champagne style that tastes like champagne. In her first year, she's joined the Oakville Chamber of Commerce and the board of the downtown BIA. But it also is another opportunity to network and to meet other business owners. And as a first time business owner, um, I find it really important to connect with other, one, other business owners. After her first successful year, she's still driven by the positive effect she can have in her customers' lives. It's all about encouraging people to use pretty things every day. So I always tell people, drink out of a pretty glass, um, put some pretty flowers, even if they're just grocery store flowers, put them in a pretty vase, light the candles, and, you know, just enjoy every gathering. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.